Hi there. Now for this part of the question then we had to factorise f of x and you can see that it turns out to be x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 times 2x minus 5. Now there's two ways that uh, we can do this. We can either do it by looking at x plus 1 multiplied by a quadratic factor and then as you'll see I've compared particular terms or you can use an algebraic long division method to get that quadratic factor. Once you've got the quadratic factor, you can then factorize it further into two other linear factors. So if you do go for this one, okay, we know that x plus 1 when divided into this left no remainder, so it must be a factor. So what I've done is set up my quadratic factor here, ax squared plus bx plus c, and then comparing the x cubed terms, a must be 6 here. When you multiply x with the ax squared term, you've got to get 6x cubed, so a clearly has to be 6. The next term which is best to turn to is the constant on the end because the only way you get the constant term is when you take the constant here 1 and multiply it with the c. So 1 times c must give you the minus 5 so clearly c is minus 5. So we've only got the b to get now and you can do this either by comparing say the x squared terms or the x terms. It doesn't matter which one you do. I've done both here as you can see but you'd only select one. If you compare the x squared terms, remember you get x squared when you multiply x with the bx, so you're going to get bx squared, but you're also going to get another x squared term when you multiply the 1 with ax squared, so you get plus ax squared. So when you compare the x squared terms you've got b plus a must be minus 7 here. And you already know the value of a. a was 6, so if you substitute it in here, you can see that b turns out to be minus 13. The alternative way then was to compare the x terms. If you do that, you get an x term when you multiply x with the c and 1 with the b. So c plus b must give us the minus 18. We know the value of c, it was minus 5, so b would be minus 18 plus 5, which gives you b equaling minus 13. So that's one way then you can get the quadratic factor. The other way then is to just simply divide x plus 1 into f of x, carry out algebraic long division, and you can see you get 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. If you're unsure of algebraic long division, I've got tutorials on my website on this, okay? So uh, do take a look at that. And basically, that's how we do it.